let us start with another prerequisite right now i uh, spoke about the first prerequisite which is the fact that a matrix multiplication on a vector leads it to a convergence state and now i'm talking about the second prerequisite which is a, which is actually a very straightforward observation it is about addition of two vectors we have studied uh, the notion of scalars and vectors in our uh, high school days i am just going to revise that and make some subtle observation about them okay what happens when you add two vectors is a very straightforward question we all have added a comma b vector a comma b added with c comma d gives you um, a plus c and b plus d correct but we did we haven't observed something very important here let's observe that now so here is my question what is the sum of two points in two dimension let's say this is my two dimension plane and this is my first point i'll give it some name let's say uh, the point 30 comma 70 right and another point sort of relatively close to origin and this point is 5 comma 3 all right so let me join the corresponding vector what do you mean by that you just join the uh, uh, origin and the point by a line this is called a position vector I, as you saw I did that for both okay this one as well as this one next what is the sum of these two vectors what can you say about the sum of these two vectors uh, this is the right time for you to pause the video and compute the sum and take a look at where exactly the sum comes what is the sum 30 plus 5 70 plus 3 35 comma 73 where exactly is this point what is its direction by direction i mean when you join the origin and this point is it close to the point 30 comma 70 or is it close to the point 5 comma 3 is our question in hand let's see that in detail now so let me write that once again and my question is what is the sum of these two vectors right and i will try to find the sum very obviously the sum is simply this point that's the sum of 30 comma 70 and 5 comma 3 right I, I i didn't mean to exaggerate this concept it's a very straightforward concept but there is the observation is not so straightforward the observation comes next this 35 comma 73 is close to 30 comma 70 than 5 comma 3 this vector as you can see 5 comma 3 the resultant vector is, is somewhere 35 comma 73 is somewhere close to this vector than to this vector did you observe that yeah and, and I, i'm sure you know the reason as well okay we observed this next so let's see what exactly this means the resultant point is close when you add the resultant point is close to the big vector what do i mean by big vector the vector that is big in amplitude this is the big vector i'm talking about the resultant point which is this is close to the big vector because the vector we added was a small vector now please note if two vectors which are of the same uh, uh, amplitude when you add uh, this may not happen this will happen only when you take a big vector and add it with a small vector what do you mean by a big vector a vector with a big amplitude is called a big vector and this is a small vector because it, uh, the amplitude is small right okay so this is a small vector right okay what is the moral that we learned just now what did we observe just now so uh, you can pause and think about what what we just now said and then continue the video when we add a big vector to a small vector the resultant vector is close to the direction of the big vector big in quotes right perfect although pretty obvious you will even be wondering why did i even have a lecture on this uh, such a simple concept this is the this plays a key role in understanding the convergence of the matrix that we discussed previously right so it is important for us to spend some time on this seemingly trivial concepts 
most of the concepts are actually trivial but their significance is um, very high so it's important for us to understand although uh, appearingly trivial it's humble and it's important for us to understand these concepts one level deep because they will come in um, not so obvious places and we may not be able to interpret them properly so uh, big and small by big and small i mean in the amplitude as i told you people right okay perfect so this is the distance from the origin i'm just revising whatever i said so the, the model is very clear to you people when you add a big vector to a small vector you get a vector close to the big vector both in direction as well as amplitude okay so big plus small is equal to something close to big both in direction as well as amplitude so this was our prerequisite 2 and um, it will help if we can recollect prerequisite 1. Can you all recollect what is prerequisite 1? Prerequisite 1 was this. Prerequisite 1 was simply the fact that when you multiply a matrix to a vector repeatedly, it converges. So please ensure that you don't go further without understanding this prerequisite 1 and 